Hi, so my name is Matt. I'm here at the 2014 NAMM show uh, with Isotope, and we're showing off Brake Tweaker, which is our newest plugin. Uh, it's our latest collaboration between Isotope and BT, um, and it's really a bunch of different things. Uh, it's a drum machine, it's a drum instrument, and it's a granular synth kind of micro editing engine. It sounds like a lot, so I'm really just going to kind of run through the quick hits so you can kind of see what's going on and hear some sounds. Um, so here we have Brake Tweaker. Um, first, we're looking at the sequence of you. Um, I'm just going to play a, a, this preset just so you know what it is that we, we have. And you can kind of see uh, as the sequencer plays through, not all of the steps are happening at the same time. It's one of the things we thought we'd do to make the sequencer interesting. Um, you can give each uh, track length, uh, each track uh, a different step length. So you could have a 32 step track, a 16 tra track uh, step track, like a, a 19 step track. So you can get lots of isorhythms kind of evolving and moving around. And as you can see here, each track itself can be given an independent speed. So I could give track uh, four here a two third speed. So now everything is moving at different tempos. So you program in like one drum rhythm, but then it maybe takes five or 10 minutes to cycle back around to how it sounded originally, because all of these isorhythms are happening. It really keeps it interesting, especially for EDM production, which Break Tweaker is all about. So that's the sequence of you, but what about the sound? You know, how do we design the sounds? Um, so I'm actually just gonna backtrack, make a new preset real fast. Um, I'm gonna layer in some steps here. So if this is my snare drum, I have two choices. Um, each track has up to three generators, and the two choices are one-shot sample loader or synth. So I'm going to start with my one-shot sample loader, uh, because the Break Tweaker library comes with about 2.2 gigabytes of one-shots. That's hundreds of one-shot samples. And we basically spent a ton of time in pre-production layering and mixing and distorting all these snares so that you have the full bandwidth, big hitting EDM snares that you need without the hours of pre-production. So for instance, this snare right here, if I just play it, you know, that's a pretty deep snare, that's pretty layered uh, because there's a lot going on. I can add some distortion to that snare in this next window. And now it's really, it's really kicking. If I add a, a kick drum again, just with the one shot sample loader, um, again, it's a, it's a pre-layered kick, it sounds really fat, it's awesome, add a little bit of warm tube distortion to it, and we've got a dubstep beat going right away. You know, I might add the little uh, emphasis here. So that's the one shot sample loader, and it's got these awesome distortion algorithms in there. But let's say we've designed our drum sound. The next thing is the micro edit engine. This is really the thing that makes Break Tweaker unique. So you see here, I've selected this one step in my sequence of view, and that one step, each step in the sequence of view, has an individual granular synthesis engine attached to it. So if I want to take that snare hit and divide it into three, I can totally do that. But because it's granular, I can cut you know way more slices, like maybe 20 slices, and that sounds like this. Then I can add tension and kind of curve it and create all of these cool percussive sweeps. So it's pretty deep and it's kind of an advanced uh, granular re-slicer for each step in the sequence. So it takes the sequencer to another level. Uh, the last thing to show, just real quick, is the drum synthesizer, which you could also use for bass lines. So in track three, I've got my basic note right here. Uh, and instead of sample, I'm going to select synth for my generator. And you can see here we have uh, a basic oscillator, a sine wave. But what's really cool about that, I'm just going to lower it in pitch as well as so we get a bass. Um, it's actually a morphing wavetable oscillator. So as it plays, I can morph through the different wave shapes. So just from a basic sine wave, there's a lot of interesting textures right there. And we can take that even further and kind of look at this square wave right here. And then we can start to modulate the wavetable. So even though it's a single oscillator, it moves through all these different wave shapes and gets some really interesting textures. So 
it, you know, it's, it's pretty deep, uh, but we also have on the right hand side, the LFOs, and the LFOs themselves have some really unique wave shapes as well. A lot of them are very rhythmic. I mean, you've never seen an LFO waveform that looks like that. And just to finish up, you know, you can totally uh, take a generator synth and micro edit that as well. And if you want to micro edit all the way into uh, the granular domain, make a ton of different slices, that's going to hard lock it to a note. And now I can automate the pitch of my LFO and get some really crazy textures. So it's pretty deep, there's a lot in there. I mean, the micro edits are awesome. The generator itself is awesome. As I said, it comes with a ton of content um, and a ton of presets as well. Um, and the presets themselves sound, you know, pretty complete. Got some minimal presets in there. Got some dubstep presets. You can really hear kind of the micro edits happening there. Um, so as I said, it's brand new. Uh, just came out yesterday. Um, brand new for the NAMM show. I'm pretty excited about it. So definitely go to isotope.com. Check it out. There's a free 10-day demo so you can try it out for yourself. Uh, but yeah, thanks for listening.